Hey guys, this is Seawop the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow Version. Alright, so last time, we explored the other route to Future City. Routes 12, 13, 14, and 15. So now, we are now going to head into the Safari Zone. Because there is stuff to do. Welcome to the Safari Zone! For just 500 Poké Dollars, you can catch all the Pokémon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Yes, I would indeed, sir! In indeed! We only use a special Pokéball here. And we get 30 Safari Balls! Yay. We'll call you on the PA if you run out of time, or Safari Balls! Hooray! My second Pokémon LP- Oh my god, somebody's evolving! Nah, just kidding. Alright, so, here we have the original Safari Zone. Yes, before I completely got the shaft in Pokémon Black and White. Unfortunately. So, in the Safari Zone, generally how Safari Zones work is you find a Pokemon, like so, right here. Like a Magikarp, for, per se. And all you really do is not fight it. Instead, it's purely a game of luck. Bait makes Pokemon not r run away le make the blah, 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 makes the chances of Pokemon run away less. But it gets harder to catch. Throwing rocks basically means that the Pokemon will be easier to catch, but it will be more likely for it to run away. And you basically have your 30 Safari Balls. So basically, Safari Balls are like Great Balls in a way. So I'm actually going to put the Super Rod out in the f front here. Because so that I won't have to keep on scrolling down. There are only three Pokemon you can find by fishing here. One of them is Magikarp, and one of them is a Pokem is the Pokemon I want, I want plus its evolved form. So I'm just gonna keep on fishing here and whatnot. And sometimes it doesn't even freaking work because the game likes to be a jerk to me, doesn't it? Oh yeah, and also you have a set amount of steps as you can see here. You have 500 steps in total. When you run out of steps, the game is over. Basically, if you're playing this game with Bios, this is, this is probably any Pokemon LPR's worst nightmare. But whatever. I don't use Bios because I'm not that great of an editor. And there's the Pokemon I want, Dratini. Dratini is... Kinda sort of a good Pokemon now, but I'll frig. It's kinda sort of a good Pokemon now, but just to wait until you raise it. It'll get better. Trust me. And this thing is not catching. Why the hell are you not catching? And crap! Ran away! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to find a Dratini or its evolved form here. Then I'll meet you guys back here. Unless this is the next one. Is it? Yes, it is! Okay. Another Dratini. Alright. So let's throw the balls at it because I like to say throwing the balls. Like the good old days, I'm not trying to copy Chuggers. Bill Cosby voice or anything with the thing and stuff. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> ah, why is he failing? Dang you! Stop running away, you fool! All that fishing, all that over 10 times fishing for a magic card. Really, game? Is that how you really want to treat me? You don't like work for like a million tries and then, and then boom, you work and then you get a magic card. Plus, this is the only place where you can find Dratini in yellow. In red and blue, you can, in red and blue, you can buy them at the game corner and stuff. So it's really cool. And freaking Magikarp! Oh my god! A dragon air? What? What? Okay, okay, I'm gonna catch this thing. I'm gonna catch this thing. And. Oh, I missed! <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Okay, so dragon air, dragon air, come on. Dragon air, dragon air. Mega Man, Mega Man. This is a dragon air. Alright. Stop missing! 
Would you stop missing, please? Okay. One. Two. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> that is the first time ever that I caught a dragon arrow in, in the safari zone in yellow. Oh my god. This actually makes things a lot easier. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Dragonair, the dragon Pokemon. According to a witness, its body was surrounded by a strange aura that gave it a mystical look. Alright, so I am going to nickname this thing after the original beta name it was given. So, Dragoon. If you want the Egg Dragoon, go to Sonic Unleashed. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So we got our sixth party member. Very nice. And let's see. It's pretty good to start with. It's got Rap, Leer, and Thunder Wave. That's pretty good. Okay. So going on into the Safari Zone. You can find all sorts... You can... Blah. You can find all sorts of Pokemon here, including Tangela, Kangaskhan, Chansey, whatever. Whatever. But Chansey is really rare and to top it off it's really hard to catch so I uh, screw it I'm gonna run away <laughs> yeah I say screw you man but whatever there are many different Pokemon in many different areas depending on which area you are in like in this area you can find Kangaskhan in which, in all honesty, Kangaskhan is not really too bad of a normal type. Certainly, it is good in offense, in attack. TM37, that is, I believe... As I believe... Reflect, is it? Oh, Egg Bomb. Yeah, considering you can already buy those, those are completely pointless. Over here is another item. We have a full restore. Over there is another item. I don't want to get all these items and history about this. Uh, I I don't know why, but I always like to go over to that area over there to get to get Kangaskhan's, and I don't know why that is, but I just do it, and that's it. So, anyways, in this patch of grass, you can in this area you can find your Chanseys here. You can find I believe you can find Tauros here or something. You can also find Rhyhorns and things. You can find pretty high level Nidorans here, and I did not mean to throw the bait. I did not mean to throw a bait. Derp. <laughs> but whatever. Anyways, over there is TM40, which is Skull Bash. Okay. That's good. I believe there's an item over there. No, it's just a rest house. Basically, the function of the rest houses is that you basically talk to guys and they'll give you hints on the safari zone. Nothing really too special there. Oh, and by the way, I deposited my Poke Flute just so you know because I don't think I don't see me using it because even though in battle it can be used as a kind of sort of good awakening, I don't really use it. So, yeah. Anyways, over here... Sign. Request notice. Please find the Safari Warden's Lost Gold Teeth. They're around here somewhere. Offer rewarded. Contact Warden. And that is insulting over there because we just found his gold teeth. Wait. Wait. It just occurred to me. Gold teeth. Think about that. Gold teeth. Dude, he's like freaking rich. Over there is Double Team, that TM over there. And what do we have here? Ah, finally! You're the first person to reach the Secret House. I was getting worried that no one would win our campa campaign prize. Congratulations, you won! And we get HMO3 Surf. Very good move to have. So I'm gonna teach it to... I'm gonna teach it to... Shellshock, because even though Tubby does get the good... Does it get the good boost from it? It it doesn't get the same type of attack bonus, so I'm gonna get rid of Water Gun because 
Seriously, who needs water gun now? We have freaking surf. But unfortunately, no, we can't really use it yet until we get a, another certain batch. So, yeah. Unfortunately, no, there's no really way to, like, sort of end your game here like they do in the newer games. So, I'm just gonna run around here because there's nothing really else worth doing. Blah, blah, blah. Seriously, I can't believe I... I still can't believe I found that Dragonair and caught it. I mean... That makes things a lot easier, because raising up a Dratini is kind of hard work. Plus, I didn't really want... Plus, I like to show all the evolutions on screen, but... I don't know. Even the best LPers don't show evolutions for Pokemon games. Did you get a good haul? Yeah, I got a good haul. A Dragonair. <laughs> okay. So, anyways... At the Pokemon here, you can find the best kind of repel that you can get. Super repels. Now, I recently came by the fact that that max repels co cost way more money than do, and only gives it additional things. I like to get super repel. I actually use super repels more often now than than, than uh, max repels because, well, a certain Pokemon Let's Play who's doing Pokemon Emerald right now suggests to do it, so I'm gonna take his advice and do it. And just do it up. Yeah. Okay, so... Now... Let's go over to the Warden's house... And return his teeth. Because, basically put, like I've been saying before there, and... Because that sign said he is offering a reward. What's the reward? The reward is... Gave the gold teeth to the warden. The warden popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid. No one could understand a word I said. I couldn't work that way. So let me give you something for your trouble. And we get HMO4. Strength. So I'm actually going to teach that to Tubby because he does get same type of attack bonus from it. So? Plus he needs another move. So yeah. And unfortunately though... This requires strength to move, and unfortunately though, the text boss doesn't give you an option, so you have to go into your party and get strength out. And we received a rare candy for that. You know what? I'm actually gonna do it. I'm actually gonna use those rare candies. And since Fushigi is one level away from evolving, I believe, let's do this. And here we have Venusaur. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I think that about does it for this part though. We got we got our final party member, a freaking Dragonair. An underlevel Dragonair, mind you, plus I really want to give it some training before we head on to the next gym. Because the gym this gym right here. It's leader. It's where the game gets real hard way too fast. Yeah. So, I will see you guys on the next time. Goodbye, and thank you for watching. And watching me overreact to an awesome Dragonair that I now have.